So today I'm having a look at a pretty cool product from Antec. These kinds of devices have been on the market for a number of years, but this one's got all the latest up-to-date features and everything. So this is the Antec Digital PC Power Tester. So I have conveniently a PC next to me. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. So this is just a quick, quick and dirty way to find out if your power supply is functioning as intended. So, you know, I hate plastic clamshells that have these these metal grommets to them. It's so hard to open. I have to like heave on them just to get the plastic to break. Okay, so let's see what we have inside here to start with, besides dropping the digital tester. Okay, so now I can't even get the paper off without ripping it. Oh, that's too bad. That's okay. All right, so there's no documentation. They basically expect you to know how it works. Here, let's see, is this... Test your IATX power supply quickly, easily, and accurately with Antec's digital PC power tester, the simple tool for checking the health of your ATX 20 or 24 pin power supply, diagnose the problem, and save time on troubleshooting. So, a lot of the time, PC trouble can be caused by any number of things, and you have no way of knowing exactly what's causing the issue. So this allows you to test a 20 pin connector it allows you to test a 4-pin or 8-pin um, CPU connector, 6-pin PCI Express, and 4-pin floppy. And then I'm going to go ahead and guess that in here is a Molex. No, what is that? Oh, that's SATA. Okay, so there's SATA on that side. And then in here, I'm going to guess this is a Molex, Molex connector. Okay, so why don't we plug this into the power supply that we already know is functioning. So that makes things, that makes life a little bit easier here. Let's just unplug that from the classified board that I've got on my test bench here. Okay, so we plug that in just like that. We got the four pins. See, you can see the 20 and four pins that's lined up there. Look at that. So it gets the, it sets the power supply running. So you can see the fan is now spinning in the power supply, even though I haven't powered it on because it actually shorts out the, um, uh, the pins required to get it going. Okay, yeah, that was awkward. So it gives us readouts of the 5 volt rail, 12 volt 1, 3.3 volt, minus 12 volt, 12 volt 2. Now this is a single rail power supply, so obviously that rail, 12 volt 2, is not functioning. 5 volt VSB, and then... I don't actually know. Okay, so let's see what else we got. Let's plug in the 6 pin. And see if it shows us anything different. Oh, okay, so 12 volt 2, I guess it's just, it will read off another connector. You can see that the two readings are exactly the same, so that's um, something that would indicate to us that it is a single rail power supply. You know what, let's try something completely different here. Give me, like, just bear with me one moment. I'm going to plug this back into the motherboard, and I want to try this while the system's running and see if it actually gives us any, any readout. I've, I've never used one of these before because I usually have just like another power supply on hand that I can test with. So why don't we just plug that, all that stuff back in. Let's power up the system. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab another modular cable for this power supply. I'm gonna grab a SATA cable. Okay, plug that into the uh, fractal design power supply I got here. Okay, SATA was on this side. And let's just plug this in and see what happens. So I think it goes this way. Yeah, I think it goes that way. Oh, okay, so it just, oh, this is different. So it gives us a little indicator light. So when you don't actually plug in the 24 pin, it just shows you, yes, all rails are actually functioning as intended. So I'm guessing it would do the same thing if we plugged in, say, for example, a hmm, PCI Express connector. So let's try that too. PCI Express, plug in the modular cable. Sorry this is taking so long. I wasn't expecting to do this aspect of the test, but since we're here, we have nowhere important to be, why don't we just do it? Okay, so this goes in this way, and that tells us a lot less. So it looks like the these connectors only work if you've actually got the 20 four pin connector in, whereas the Molex and SATA connectors, which are on the sides of the unit, give you more of an indicator, uh, more of an indication of whether you've got the correct power being provided. So thanks for checking out my unboxing and quick guide on the Antec Digital Power Supply Tester.